What's dad cooking today? Pork bistec Tagalog in the Instant Pot. I really hope you like onions. If not, I don't know what you're gonna do. The first thing we gotta do is juice some column and C. These things are tiny and they take forever. Roll it underneath your hand on the cutting board and that's gonna loosen it up a bit and get you get some more juice out of it a little easier. Slice them up and squeeze them, repeat. As you can see, they kind of look like a tiny little orange. So about 14 of these column and C got me about three tablespoons of column and C juice. If you don't have column and C, you can use a combination of lemon juice and lime juice. The only other real prep you have to do is uh, cut up some onions. We're gonna go for slices and uh, two big white onions should be plenty. It looks like a lot of onions, but it cooks down quite a bit once you cook it up. Now just repeat the process on another onion and you're just about ready with your prep. Now I'm gonna mix up my spices in this little spice shaker. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. If you don't have a spice shaker and you're not using one, you don't have to do this. You can just take the spices and shake them individually onto the meat like some sort of animal. But if I was you, I would just get one of these spice shakers and make your life a lot easier. Once everything's in there, put your hand over it, give it a good shake, and you're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and set this to saute, and then we're gonna set it to the normal setting. Go ahead and coat the bottom of the Instant Pot with some olive oil. Olive oil adds a little bit of extra flavor to the dish, so I suggest you use that instead of vegetable oil. Now go ahead and add in your pork blade steak and hit it with your spice shaker. So after this cooks for about three minutes, go ahead and give it a flip. You can wait five and it would probably be easier to flip. Flip, you son of a... All right, wait five minutes if you want to make it easier to flip and you don't want to fight it, but you can just fight it like I did and flip it. Once you get it loosened from the bottom, go ahead and coat it with some olive oil for the flip so it's easier to flip next time. Flip it over. Spice shaker it up and cook it for about another two or three minutes. Give it one more quick flip just to cook that spices that you put on the top and pull it out. Now we're going to repeat the process with the second blade steak. Exact same thing. Spice, flip, spice, flip, remove. Now it's time to add in our half a cup of water, our half a cup of soy sauce, and go ahead and stir this up a little bit. Try and uh, scrape the bottom of the Instant Pot and break up all that little fond that's developed at the bottom from when you were sauteing your blade steaks. The next thing we need to do is add the trivet. That just gives a little bit of space so that the meat is above the water or the liquid, and it lets it kind of boil and steam a little bit better than if you put the meat right down in there. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of coriander here. Just gonna stick it down the side of the pot, let it go in the liquid is fine. And you can't forget the column and sea juice. It's about three tablespoons worth. Just go ahead and pour it right in there. Make sure you've got your all-purpose ring in your lid. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Instant Pot Tips and Hacks video. We're gonna set this on manual and do 18 minutes. It's early. Dad's got his coffee and he's trying to cook. Dad cooks in the mornings. Just, I leave everything in the videos on YouTube for you guys. I forgot to put the column and sea juice in before I started the pressure cooker. So you're going to notice a little jump cut in the video where it shows me put in the water, then the soy sauce, then the footage is going to look different, and then the column and sea juice is going to go in. 
<sighs> Too early. So what are we cooking today? We're cooking pork bistec. Pork bistec is technically not even bistec. Bistec is a Filipino beef dish. It's basically beef and onions and a calamansi and soy sauce. But people love it so much. Bistec has become the technique of cooking and you can do just about anything in it. People in the Philippines love pork. So of course they made a pork version. So I was doing a bunch of research, trying to figure out how to make my version of pork bistec. And for me, it was weird. I saw a bunch of recipes that had garlic in it and a bunch of recipes that didn't have garlic in it. That's Italian, dad loves garlic. So I really wanted to do garlic, but the one we get from the Filipino store here locally in Orlando doesn't have garlic. So dad settled in on using his favorite mixture of garlic powder and onion powder on the meat when I sauteed it. Maybe it'll give it a little bit of that garlic flavor, but there won't be chunks of garlic. So that was my spin that I'm putting here on the pork bistec. A lot of people will use pork chops for this. I decided and I found these awesome pork blade steaks. They had some bone in them. They had this nice fatty texture to them. I think they're gonna come out awesome for this, this dish. So right now it's a really simple dish. You take your pork, you saute it, you throw in for the instant pot version, you throw in some water and some soy sauce and you don't forget your column and sea juice and you cook it on, I'm doing mine for 18 minutes, which is the same time that I do my instant pot spare ribs if I'm looking for fall off the bone. So I, I figure that's a pretty good time for that. Once everything comes out, then you're gonna go ahead and saute your onions. We're gonna add in, we're gonna probably have to add in some juice in a traditional method. They don't really um, add anything extra. You just have enough liquid in there to go ahead and add your onions in and let everything kind of simmer and boil. But I have a feeling that we're gonna probably have to adjust to have enough liquid to get the onions to be in there with the meat simmering. I don't know if I'll end up pulling the meat from the blade and taking the bone out for that portion. I think I might, because it's gonna give me more room in the Instant Pot for getting everything in there. All right, let's talk about calamansi. Calamansi is called the Philippine lime. It's basically a citrus fruit that's a little bit of a mix between a lime and it can get on orangey flavors. The flavor profile changes a whole lot depending on how much you let it ripen on the tree. If you get them when they're green off the tree, they're very sour. They will sweeten up as you let them ripen and they actually turn more of an orange color than the bright green colored ones that I'm working with. I get mine from my father-in-law's tree in his backyard. They're nice enough to let me have some when they get fruit. The ones we had today were really, really green. So they're a little bit on the sour side. I'm gonna end up adding a little bit of sugar to the bistec, depending on how it tastes when I get it done. But I did a taste test side by side, trying to see what the flavor of the column C is versus lime juice and lemon juice. Lime juice is closer to column C than lemon juice. But the best thing I found to do was to mix lime juice and add in a splash of lemon juice. That's gonna get you probably as close to a column C juice as you can without having it. And then you might wanna add in a touch of sugar also to yours to compensate because it is a little bit sweeter at times than lemon and lime juice. It's time to just kind of sit here, chill, drink my coffee and wait for this uh, Instant Pot to beep at me so I can finish this dish. All right, let's get back to cooking. So it's been about 30 minutes since we pushed the button on the Instant Pot and we gave it a 10 minute natural release. That's gonna go ahead and make sure that the meat stays nice and tender. After that 10 minutes, open up your Instant Pot and pull out your blade steaks. Go ahead and remove the trivet. Get yourself a good oven mitt and pull the inner bowl out 
and pour the liquid into a separate bowl to save for later. Go ahead and set the Instant Pot to saute normal setting. Now, add a little bit of extra olive oil. Let the olive oil sit in there for about a minute before you put the onions in. That'll get it a little bit hotter. Dump all your onions in, and we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the last bit of the leftover spices. This will finish up everything in our spice shaker. And now we're just gonna stir these and saute them for about eight minutes. You're just going for semi-translucent While the onions are cooking, it's time to take care of the meat. Look how tender that is. It just tears apart. It's perfect. And just break the meat up any way you want. I did it with my hands, pulled the blades and the bones out, and then I hit it with my kitchen shears. I just went in there and went at it with the, the shears. We're just looking for chunks, something manageable to be able to get into the Instant Pot. Down and look kind of like this, nice and soft and semi-translucent. We're gonna go ahead and add in our pork. Give it a nice little toss, get everything all mixed up. And now we're gonna go grab the liquid that we pulled out earlier and reserved on the side and pour that all back in. Stir it up again, get everything mixed nicely. And then you're just gonna let this sit and simmer for five, 10, 15, however long you want. It just still kind of get better as it simmers. Once it's done simmering, you can put it on cancel keep warm or you can serve it right away. It is delicious. It is just packed with umami flavor. So serve it with some white rice and you have an amazing meal. This is literally one of dad's favorite Filipino dishes. You have to try this. For more recipes and videos, visit dadgotthis.com. Be sure you don't miss anything. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare you. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.